Are you recording this? Hey, good afternoon, everyone. I welcome back to my YouTube channel. The time right now is, wow, nine o'clock exactly. I need to get some sleep. Uh, so I gotta go PT tomorrow, you know. Well, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, uh, but uh, today is Tuesday, May 28th, and uh, I am Khmer, and we're in a high yield dividend warrior community here. So that's all we talk about is high yield dividends. So uh, today's portfolio review, man, dramatic. A lot of things have changed uh, in term because I bought a lot of stuff today and I set condition for future things coming up. Uh, yeah, so. Let's go ahead and switch over to uh, my precision here, and we'll do a quick summary because this is the first. Uh, this is essentially the first one because Monday the, the market was closed, so the market's open today for this week. Okay, so I am down 19%, so at about $37,000. Okay, my in total uh, portfolio is $195,000. So if you minus $195,000, I mean $37,000 from $195. I will get a market value of 158,000. What's what's this market value mean? That if I sell everything in my portfolio, everything, I will get 158,000 dollars. That's what it means, right? But my portfolio is 195,000. I'm 5,000 away from reaching 200,000. That's the part that's amazing. You know, it's just like oh my God, I'm I'm about 200,000 dollars. All right. So if I sell everything, 158,000. Charles Schwab will take their 74,000 dollars back. As you can see, I, I went up like 4,000 dollars. Uh, you know, because I bought a lot of stuff. I bought $4,000 worth of stuff. And then the remaining money, which is $84,000, that would be my money to keep, all right? So yeah, if I sell everything, I would take a $37,000 loss. I would have $84,000 in my account. It's still pretty good, um, considering that I didn't put a lot of money into this thing. Uh, why? Because the dividends are just feeding this thing now, all right? So I'm, I'm enjoying making a lot of money from that. All right, so that's my portfolio. Um, I did not buy any equity. I did not. Up, I did not improve um, because I'm down right now. Uh, yeah, Tesla was down the whole day, so I was down. So I knew I was down because Tesla was down. Uh, I didn't improve Intel, Neo, Palantir, SoFi, AI. Matter of fact, in um, next month or in the com uh, coming month, you're gonna see me owning more equity, more stocks, uh, because eventually I'm gonna try to own a lot more. Uh, a lot more assets and grow that. You know, when I say grow, it's not a high priority for me. But if I have one or two dollars or one or two shares, I will I will buy it just to keep improving it. Uh, eventually, I get to 100 shares. So, I um, okay. So the this is my ETF. This is all my income fund. I right? as you can see, I'm going to show you how many I bought here. So uh, Tesla, Clip, QQY. These are all my uh, my main my main folder here, my main uh, uh, core fund. So uh, QQY is my first week, my second week is Tesla, my third week is ULTY, and my fourth week is Clip. And I got IWMI supporting second week. I got Coney, I'm sorry, uh, supporting first week. I got Coney supporting my uh, second week, and then I have Feppy, which is way down here, supporting my fourth week. I got you. Uh, I got uh, Y mags and Y max supporting third week. So that's supporting ULTY. So eventually, what you're going to see is ULTY is going to reach a thousand share. If I reach a thousand share, this stock is paying a dollar to a dollar forty, whatever. Guess what? Uh, I'm going to make a thousand dollar. All right. So once I get to a thousand share, I'm going to a thousand dollar. If this thing reach a thousand share, and I make one uh, one uh, one thousand dollars from my third week. My portfolio will definitely be eight thousand dollars a month. Okay, so I'm only two hundred dollars away from reaching eight thousand dollars a month, and then from that point on, you're gonna see me talking about eight thousand dollars a month. But I don't need to talk about seven thousand anymore. I definitely don't need to talk about six thousand anymore or five thousand anymore. I remember I would have made a video called three thousand dollars a month. So I don't, I don't need to do that anymore. So I'm gonna be talking about eight thousand dollars a month from this point forward. Yeah, but I'm I'm two hundred two hundred dollars away. I can get that easily on the first week of June. Because the first week of June, I buy 100 share. That's about $100 to IWMY. And then the third week, I buy 100 share of ULTY. That's another $100. That's $200 right there. So just those two alone, I will get to eight, uh, $8,000 per month. So I'm getting there. All right, so what did I bought? So I'm just going to scroll down here. I'm going to show you. Well, we're going to go to the history section here a few seconds. But here's all the things I 
uh, I increased or I bought. But all the one here you see, uh, Divo, Put D, Eurax. Now Eurax is something I've just experimented with. I'm trying to. I'm just tracking. I'm not planning. To, this is not an income fund. I just bought this just to just to track uranium. I, I thought it was pretty interesting to find. Came out with Eurax. Uh, I'm just going to take a look at that and six uh, 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 S I X H. Uh, this is E T C. Phi E. That's Fidelity. Uh, F T Q I is First Trust. Global X. A lot of Global X. All pretty much all the Global X. Uh, Invesco. Uh, P B B. H Y G. That's I share. That's Black Rocks. L Q D W. Those are Black Rocks. Uh, Jeppy, look, I bought Jeppy again. The last time I owned Jeppy was back last year, exactly about this time last year. And I own, I, I'm not, I uh, own JEPI, all right? Now, what I need to own is JPEPQ, you know, so I need to get that in there. Uh, uh, GOP, um, CVRD covered, Madison covered call. This one is the only one that pay quarterly. Everybody pay monthly. This is the only one so far, all right? And uh, B B W uh, B U Y W. This is main buy right ETF. Uh, and then you got uh, Neos um, SCHI. This essentially it's um, it's their bond uh, fund. You know, matter of fact, I recommend you go watch uh, the interview for Neo. That's pretty interesting. He talked about these bond funds uh, very well too. Okay, and. Uh, and then I, I bought uh, we uh, wheel. I already bought that NBOS. I got NBOS. YBTC S R H R. This is the read cover call. MDST uh, put W and money. All right. So what what category for me to buy this? Number one, if they do option trading in for income, I'm probably gonna buy them. Number two, if they do cover call strategy for income, I'm probably gonna buy them. So those two factor because I primarily. I'm an income. Uh, it, this is an income portfolio, and I do. Uh, I'm going to go after that. Okay, so I keep telling this a million times already. Uh, if I don't have YouTube channel, I don't need to own all this. I, I literally don't need to own all this. But because I have a YouTube channel, I have to go back and forth and flip through. So when people talk about certain fund, uh, certain income fund, I have it in in one uh, in one spreadsheet. So it's easy for me to track and manage. And also, it's fun to buy. It's fun to do research. It's fun to talk about it. It's fun to talk to the community about it because I own it. I invest in it. I believe in it, and I own it. But if I if I don't have a YouTube channel, I would literally own like maybe essentially five things. That's it. I would own my QQY. I would own my Tesla. I would own my ULTY. I own Clip and Connie MSTY. That that that's pretty much I probably own. I don't need to own a lot. I, matter of fact, I don't need to own all these other stuff. All right. Just the same reason why I own Tesla, Intel, Neo, all these guys, because so I can learn how to do option trading. I want to learn how to do option trading. I want to do Iron Condor. I want to learn how to do, uh, you know, Square and, and buy long, buy sell put, all that stuff. I want to learn how to do all that stuff. I want to learn how to do trading, day trading, uh, and I'm going to use these guys as a as a stepping stone to learn. That that's one of the reasons why I own it. Yeah. So the, the reason why I own all these things is mainly for YouTube purpose and it's easy for me to manage. I don't have to go back and forth. So ultimately, so where does it end? So what I want to do is I want to own essentially just like these guys, 100 share across the board. 100 share across the board, all the way down, every single one of them 100 share. Right? And then uh, that's the first step, get 100 share. And the next step is maybe go to 200 shares. And the next step, after I get 300 share, eventually I get 1,000 share all across the board. So can you imagine getting 1,000 share across the board? You know how big my portfolio is by this time? We're talking about almost a million dollars right now. You know, If I get 1,000 share all across the board. Think about 1,000 share is roughly, we're looking at 15000 to $20,000. And or, depending on the price, if some of them are $54, you know, 1,000 share, that would be $54,000. So... And if you combine all of them together, I mean, this portfolio is going to be huge uh, if you try and get a thousand share across the board. I mean, it's already it's already a quarter, uh, almost two hundred thousand dollar right now, and I haven't got a thousand share across the board yet. So, so imagine you got a thousand share with already two hundred two hundred thousand dollar. Yeah. So my portfolio is going to change a little bit. All right. Let me just show you the history real quick. And um, I I normally didn't hit history before. 
The reason is because they showed the account number, but now they stopped doing that, so now I can show it too. So here's my history. This is all my purchase today that I just talked about. I bought a lot of Global Hawks. I bought y, uh, Global Hawks, uh, Global X. I bought YBTC, put the, you know, all these guys. Just It's just one share to open position. That's all I did, one share to open position. That's a lot of purchase. What I'm doing is set in condition to, to buy stuff. So what happened throughout the summer, if the fund go down, uh, the, the asset price drop below my DCA, guess what, I'll buy some. If they go up, I just ignore it. So at least it give me something to do during the summertime. All right, let's go look at my in investment income because I own all these income. How much should I increase today? Uh, well, it hasn't updated yet, but it shows 7,753 at this point. Um, so I should make seven thousand seven hundred dollars uh, by by the end of the, the month, and then in June it's seven thousand fifty three. I'm looking at seven thousand eight hundred actually, but it has to be updated. So it hasn't updated yet. It's about seven thousand eight hundred, and I'm pretty close. Easily, easily, I can make two hundred dollars easily. All right, and uh, with that, I will in July. I'm definitely going to make eight thousand dollars a month. I cannot wait. Because once I make $8,000 a month, it's going to move really, really fast from that point on. So $8,000 in July, $8,000 in August. Guess what? That's twenty. That's essentially $16,000. $16,000, I can buy IWNY, ULTY, and I get another $1,000. Just think about that from that perspective. So, But let's say, for example, on the average, it's about $20. So then July is $8,000, August $8,000, September $8,000. So now, September going to October will be $9,000. So September, October, November, that's $9,000. So $9,000, $9,000, $9,000. But remember, at $9,000, I don't, the average is about 20. I don't need to be three months. I just need two months. September, October, that will be $18,000. I'm pretty close. That, I mean, most of my, most of my fund are not, not $20. They're like 17 and less. So guess what? I I able to buy something. I will get create, increase in thousand. So somewhere around November, December, I should be able to make ten thousand dollars a month. That's the goal. Uh, will I make it? I don't know. But you know. But so far, I'm on pace, and that's the direction I want to get to ten thousand dollars a month. Now, a lot of people make fun of me about this stuff. You know, like hey, you know, hey. At the end of the day, you do you. You go invest whatever you want to invest. I don't give a damn, and uh, because it's not my portfolio. This is my portfolio. I'm making money, and and so uh, you can make fun of all me you want, but it's in a day. It's my money. It's making money, and and this continue on all the way next year and the year after that. Here's something a lot of people don't understand. I have not contributed this money. I, I I stopped putting money into this. So right now, the only thing that purchase is the dividends that I receive putting back. So from January, from Jan, uh, in December, my return on investment is going to be back. So think about it. I'm estimating to make uh, $84,000 by the end of the month. Okay? This is if I'm making $7,000 all the way through. $84,000 a month. My portfolio is $84,000. Yeah, so there, there you go, guys. I'm talking about return on investment again. I'm expecting to make $84,000 in my portfolio currently sitting at eighty four thousand dollars yeah so yeah so that's the beauty of this thing and uh at the end of the day you know you can say whatever you want to say i am making money i'm making you know i'm gonna make eight thousand dollars a month you know so uh, don't care don't really care about your opinions and stuff like that so you can say we're wrong all you want but there's a whole community of us not just our youtube channel but there's other youtube channel there's many many more youtube channels they're all talking about high yield dividend. High yield dividends are everywhere now. They're literally everywhere. If you don't understand that, I just went through the entire fund here. Just think about how many companies involved. Amplify 1, BlackRock 2, Seabos 3, Defiance 4, ETC uh, 5, Fidelity 6, First Trust 7, Global X 8, uh, Invesco 9, iShare 10, JP Morgan's 11, CraneShare 12, Curve. 13, Madison 14, Maine 15, Neos 16, Nuremberg 17, Paramex 7, uh, 18, I, I lost count already, ProShares, I mean, RexFang, I mean, it just go on and on. Just think of how diverse the portfolio is now. There's so many companies involved 
income funds wise. And there's so many YouTuber coming on. Eventually, what happened after in year two, you see a lot of people making money. And guess who's not making money? The people calling us, you know, scam. So guess what? Congratulations, you're watching us making money. And hey, good luck with your journey. And we're doing fine. So hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Take care, everyone.